Alvin, do you think that we live in a racist country? I think there's always going to be a moderation of racism everywhere. I try not to use the word racism. Mm. I try to use it as abuse. Nothing more. OK. Now, there's a reason why I came to you first, because <clears throat> you are from a traveller community, is that right for me to say? Yeah, I'm a gypsy. Right, OK, fine. You know who scored highest on the list of people who felt as though they'd been racially discriminated against? It wasn't black people, it wasn't people of Pakistani heritage or anything. It was traveller community. Do you think that's reality? Have you faced discrimination? Uh, have I faced... Yes, of course I have. Because it's very easy to discriminate against the gypsy because we're white. Mm, mm. So people don't assume that you're a gypsy, so it's very easy for them to be outspoken about something, not realising they're being outspoken. Mm. If mm. you're black, if you're Asian, if you're Chinese, they can see you are, so they can curb their tongue a little bit more. Mm. Well, they don't if they don't feel they have to. OK, Narinda, how about you? Do you feel like we live in a racist country? Yeah, and your whole monologue, Patrick, I find mm. it a little bit... I'm not going to use the word offensive because it's mm. a bit, you know, people get oh, a bit upset with that. I just think that there's always this denial from white people, some mm. white people, uh -huh. that, oh, we're not that racist, oh, we're not like this, and we always have to prove it. I don't want to have to sit here and have to say to you, yes, I'm well, so, can yes I, this report well, is can like, I just why ask, do I have to constantly have to confirm? Well, I'm not saying it's necessarily you personally, but what I am saying is, I if it's very, if it's, I, I'm sure you have, yeah. but, if, but if it's very, very easy to produce a report that says, based on people's feelings, you just stop someone feelings. in the street. Yeah, it is. It's have experiences, you so, not feelings. This is experiences, Patrick. Okay, but and I, I'm not going to sit here and have to prove it. I, I find it hard to believe, right, that a third of all black people, say... Well, of course you find had, it hard. No, hang on a minute. ...have experienced genuine, genuine discrimination in the workplace. Singularly, the reason why I find it hard to believe is because... Right, I don't see a lot of it, and also, so, also, also, we have very strict laws in this country. Of course we do. And it's very easy to take an employer to court and win, right? So if that was the case, I, I would have thought that more people would be suing for a lot of money based on racism, which makes me think... Well, they maybe... don't always win, and that's not the case. You're going by these examples mm. that are not... They're not real-life experiences that we're experiencing mm. every day. And you're going by, well, actually, they can take these um, employers to court and win some money, so we're pretending. We're lying about racism, Patrick. Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. I don't think it's... I don't think it's lying. I, over I, a third. I question, the, I question how high that number is. But I mean, you are. What... Therefore, you're saying it's a lie. That I, 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 I wonder get whether or not word, I, I get called the p well, word. Well, that's different, isn't it? Because I'm not denying that. If you were called the p okay, word, that's so obvious racism. So therefore, I suffer racial abuse. Therefore, we mm. are a racially unjust society. Fact. Okay. I don't want to sit here proving it. Okay. I'm sick All of right. that. Do, do you do you feel I'll as though really do, do you feel <laughs> no, do, no seriously? I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the no, no, debate. But it's, no, but it's interesting because what what I find fascinating is that you come from a community that rated the highest in terms of racial discrimination, but you're obviously sitting here feeling as though there isn't a huge amount of racial discrimination. I'm wondering why that is. I go back to what I said earlier. Of course, there is racism. Mm. I don't like to use the word racism. I like to call it abuse, and the reason being, I see uh, abuse as putting somebody down. Why don't you like to use the word racism? <clears throat> because I'm not different than anybody else. And racism is a word of saying it's you're different. It's a stronger word. It's you're too different. stronger word. Do you think it's a defining feature of our society? Because this is the, where we're at now which, with the if discussion. You, if you say to me, mm. uh, look, let, let's be very transparent. Bar Bar Black Sheep is banned. Mm. But yet Cher can sing about gypsies, tramps and thieves. And it's not banned. Mm. Gypsies mm. have the last acceptable abuse out there. So what, I'm, what do I do about it? Nothing is the Why? truth. But Why I, don't you do something? But if somebody asks my view on it, I don't want to debate the point. I want to state the facts. Mm. And what I'm telling you are facts. Yeah. But do I believe that the whole of our country is a racist country? No, I don't. Can I, can I ask Narinda, do yeah. you feel as though the goalposts have moved slightly? So, you mentioned the P word earlier, yeah. absolutely uh, horrific racism, yes. because numerous other words... Yes. That we Just so I can get it out there, are we talking about pikey? Oh, 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 the, my heart was in my mouth. That. For a second, Alfie, I was like, this is how it ends. 
<laughs> this is how it ends. And uh, there we go. Uh, so, um, oh, apparently, even though uh, I, apparently I still have to apologise for that word. Anyway, you right, can't well, say that. You actually can't right, say right, that. Right, there we go. Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, there you go. Right, right. Just so we know. Where don't you dare. Don't you dare now. Where Pikey comes from. You can't from. say it. Hold you on, can't say on. it. It's rhyming slang. Right, okay. It's rhyming slang for do as you like it. Okay, good stuff. I'm oh, glad we God. cleared that up. And thus ends my career. But yes. now, and so, right, so have the goalposts moved slightly from, I'm keen to get your view on this, from yeah. clear and obvious <clears throat> racism to things like unconscious bias. And so when I was talking before about things like a feeling and a perception, that, I think, is quite a difficult thing to quantify. If someone shouts racist abuse at you in the street, that's it's real proper obvious. racism. Yeah. But, but when you're dealing with things like unconscious bias, yeah. is it not very easily to say, well, the reason I didn't get that job or the reason why this happened was because someone was unconsciously biased? And the reality is they might have looked at your CV and thought, you're not as good a candidate. But I think the odds are that it was because of racism. Really? I'm going to go on the odds. Yes, because I've experienced so much. Mm. And actually, I do get a lot of unconscious bias. And I think, oh, I've got a feeling on this one. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go with the 80% it was because well, of the where are you getting that from? Um, my experiences, not feelings. And I don't like that, Patrick. I think that this study, two-year mm. study, I don't care. No study is going to tell me whether I've experienced racism or not. No. Even if there's a study telling me there's no racism in Britain, that means nothing to me. None of these studies mean anything, because what's going to happen with that study? Nothing. What are we going to do to... But then this is a difficult discussion to have, right? Because you've got a study... You're never going to experience it, so you're, you've actually sat there well, doubting it. I feel doubt but I, coming, but Patrick. I, but I actually disagree with that strongly. So my family's half Greek Cypriot and half Irish, and when my uh, grandparents came over from Ireland, there were signs outside pubs that had, um, and boarding houses, I should say, as well, you know, no blacks, no Irish, no dogs, right? Yes. And my, I, I, I know for an absolute stone-cold fact my Irish relatives suffered great racism. My Greek side of the family, we changed our surname because it would be better for business because the original surname right, there you we go. thought wouldn't be particularly good with the with the um, uh, with the with, making money with the, with the British <laughs> people. Uh, and so, so yeah, so that's 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 part of the issue. I just had a point. Yeah. <clears throat> for me to overcome racism, and let, uh, and use of use the word mm. racism a great lot, whereas I take it as abuse. But abuse, abuse is that. That's the same thing. It is, but, but, but somebody, if you want to put it into context, some white man, mm -hmm. somewhere, and I'm white, mm -hmm. has made up a word, the reason you're being abused, that's called racism. And racism means you're different. Mm. I'm no different. Mm. So I take it that it's just abuse. But abuse is not then, good. No, of course not. And, or but correct, it, in your but, community, they face so no, much no, hate. I didn't say it was, it was good. What I said was, right. is this. It is abuse. Yeah. And I don't accept that I'm different. Mm. OK. But what I would say, to overcome racism, it's about actually endorsing and blessing right. everybody's culture. So actually you get the benefits right. from it. 